Hello guys, what if you want to use AI in your web project? And I don't mean to vibe code to code with AI, but as a function. For example, you have a text with tutorial and you want to generate a summary of that with the help of AI. So you would call API of OpenAI or Anthropic with Cloud or something else. So I will show you examples of both OpenAI and Anthropic. And the common question is which to use, OpenAI or Cloud, which is better? And sometimes you need to switch operators, change the models. So in this video, I will show you an example of how to call both OpenAI and Anthropic and a PHP package that combines them in a convenient syntax. And also as a side note, this will be a lesson on Livewire because that form is built with Livewire. So let's begin. As I mentioned, this example of generating summaries is what we do ourselves on Laravel daily. So as an example of one of the course lessons, the lesson is in Markdown in our internal database. And then we generate this summary as a preview before the lesson, kind of as a trailer of what's to come. And this is one of the perfect use cases for AI. And we've been using OpenAI API, you can call it ChatGPT, just API version like this. So calling OpenAI with parameters, with API key and returning the result like this. And it does work. Let me demonstrate. So if we click generate summary now, after a few seconds, we should receive the response in the summary. Yep, that's the response. And we can use that as a summary with maybe minor changes. So this is an example with OpenAI. Before I move on to examples with Claude and another package, let's discuss the structure of that full project. And this will be kind of a mini lesson on Livewire. So in the routes, I have post create to that form. Create post is not a controller, it's a live wire component, which renders blade file, create post, and I'll get to that in a minute. And we have four properties, four variables in this component. So title, post text, and summary, and also there's summary error that would appear if something goes wrong. And then in the create post blade of that live wire, we have wire model title, wire model post text, assigning the value of those inputs to those properties. And then we have generate summary, which is called like this wire click. Also, there's a loading indicator with wire target, which is appearing as animation spinner while that function isn't finished. And then if we have summary error, it would appear here. And then wire model summary is filled with the response from the AI. So generate summary function is called when clicked the link, the query is received from blade view and blade view. This is an example that you can use blade not only for HTML, but also for prompts. So this is the prompt to the AI with post text being dynamic. And this is passed from this post text from the text area. And then we get summary error by default empty. And then we're filling the values of summary or summary error depending on the response from AI. And then the form is refreshed automatically with those values. So the dynamic behavior for such small forms is in my opinion, a perfect example for Livewire to avoid using JavaScript to create separate API run NPM commands and stuff like that. I'm quite a big fan of Livewire for such small cases. And if you haven't tried it, I have a separate course on Laravel daily Livewire three for beginners. And I will link that in the description below. Now back to the topic of AI. This is the result and we can open the Laravel log and see this. So the whole result, the whole JSON from OpenAI is this. And one part of that is choices, zero content. So this is what we actually need. And then at some point we decided to experiment with another model, which is Claude by Anthropic and discovered that the syntax is quite different. So here's the syntax for Claude. As you can see, we have X API key here, also Anthropic version, and also some parameters are different. So we need to provide the model max tokens. There are things similar like as JSON, except JSON and role and content. But basically, you need to know how to use specifically Anthropic and Claude to use specifically that one. And also the result is in different format. There's content text for open AI, it was choices, zero message content. So the JSON structure for both input and output 
is different for different models which is probably logical because those companies work independently and there's no single protocol for api prompts and responses but independent developers are trying to create tools to unify those responses and api prompts and this is where we get to package called prism Prism PHP is already a popular package with more than 1,000 stars, package for integrating large language models into your application. And if we take a look at the documentation of Prism, there's an example with different AI providers. And here's the syntax, Prism text using provider and the model with prompt as text. And the response is just response text. So it's not only more readable, look at what happens with OpenAI. The only thing changing here is the provider and the model. So when using Prism, you don't care about how those models work separately, what should be the parameters and the output, Prism would take care of that for you. And I have installed Prism in my project. And by the way, the repository is public and will be in the description below. I will put the link there. And then all I need to do is choose the provider from the list of providers, which is here in the enum. And then if I want to change the provider or switch between providers even sometimes, I just change this line and it still works. Another difference is in the config. So before I had to manually provide config services Anthropic API key, for example, and put it somewhere in my config, in this case, config services. And of course, the actual value should be in .env file because they may depend differently on your local staging and live environments. But in the code, you still need to reference them with config instead of env helper because config can be cached. But in case of Prism config, I don't need to specify that manually. I just need to put the env files with values, but those values are the same that I've used for project without Prism. So this is the config for Prism and it has the same values of OpenAI API key and Anthropic API key, and you may override some other variables as well. Now, what if something goes wrong and there's some kind of error from AI? In my previous examples, I had if statement because I received JSON error from AI, and then I can show it as a summary error. In case of Prism, it throws exceptions. You may catch specific exception or just general exception, which I did. And it actually happened for me when I tried to use Anthropic with exactly the example from the documentation. So that was probably not updated because it used Claude 3, which is already pretty old at the time of shooting this video. And when I tried to use it like this, generate summary, and here's the error. The model Claude 3 Sonnet was not found. So I had to change it to be more specific with Sonnet, even with timestamps. So yeah, an example of using AI in your Laravel application with or without Prism. What do you think? Is there anything important that I missed in this video? Let's discuss in the comments below. And do you use AI like this in your applications? Share your stories. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.